deep in the jungles of Central Florida, a man in search of gold. No, not there. Over here in the backyard office. What if I told you there was a business you could get involved in where the risk is as little as 10 bucks and the reward can be as much as $25,000 or more. Notice how I said risk, which means there is a chance, a possibility that you could lose your 10 bucks. Yeah, this is a business. There's always risk. You're about to learn my three strategies for finding expired domain names buying them for $8 or less, knowing which ones to buy, and how to turn around and sell them for a profit. So if you wanna make money like Patrick over here, listen up, watch this entire video, take notes, and consider watching it twice. Yep, that's how important this information is, because if you could learn to dig through what other people deem as garbage and find the gold, well then you can make money. Let's dive in. So every year I'm buying and selling hundreds and hundreds of domain names. And just last week I got a domain name for our high ticket niche program where I actually buy the domain, build the site and do everything to set up a customer to start an affiliate business. And I bought a domain name for $8 and 88 cents. And less than a month later, I got this email saying that someone wanted to buy the domain name for 200 bucks. And since this was a domain that I bought for a client, obviously it was up to him whether he wanted to sell it or not. And actually up till now, we got this guy up to about $300, which is pretty cool knowing that my little $8 investment has turned to 300. Now I've done this many times over the years and one of my most notably successful ones was back when I bought a domain for about $15. I held on to the domain for one year and I actually was able to sell that domain for $25,000, which was a great return on investment for my 15 bucks, which is pretty cool. Now I gotta tell you, the results are not typical, implied, or guaranteed. I've only sold one domain for $25,000 that I bought for 15, but I've sold hundreds and hundreds of others for different amounts, and the goal here is to remember that your investment is actually pretty low. Because if I was to take this example, the $8.88, and turn it into $300, that would mean that I have $291 left over that I could use to buy other domain names, which would mean I'd be able to get about 36 more domain names with the possibility of being able to sell those at a profit as well. And even if I was to say on average, I'm only able to get $20 for each domain name, that would still be about $720 return on investment for my money, which isn't bad, but obviously we wanna do a lot better with fewer domains. Now, the first thing we need to do is find lists of expired domain names. You could do this on like Just Dropped or Domain Registry Services. Lots of places have these domains. And don't worry, I'm gonna put some links and some notes over at affiliatemarketingdude.com slash domains so that you can follow along with exactly what I'm doing in this video. But watch this video all the way through first and then go get your links because you need to follow along so you know exactly what we're doing here. So we're gonna find this list of domains, which I actually have here. You can see the list is ridiculously big. I think the one that I downloaded here has like 80,000 domains or something like that. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna weed out the junk domains. So you can see like there's a lot of junk domains in here. So we wanna weed these out and find good stuff. The way we're gonna do this is by using our trigger word list. Over on affiliatemarketingdude.com, I have a trigger word list. Again, I'll have it in the link that we have in the description here. And you could go through and get this list of trigger words that will help you find domains that have a good value. Now, what we're gonna do is we are also going to put these in the GoDaddy appraisal tool to see what the estimated worth is. Again, remember, this is just an estimate. You don't know what anything's worth until you have a buyer willing to put money in your pocket. So take this with a grain of salt, but I find that it's a pretty good tool to use, although it's not exactly accurate. I've had domains that said were worth a thousand bucks that I could only sell for a hundred. I've had one that was worth 1200 
that I sold for 25000 So take it with a grain of salt, but again, use it because GoDaddy sells a lot of domains so they know what this stuff is worth. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our trigger words or niche keywords that are going to tell us about our market. So we could go through and we could use our list and hit Control F if you're using Windows. If you're on Mac, you got to figure it out. I'm not a Mac guy. So we're going to go through and we're going to type something in like loan. What this is going to do is it's going to give us all the domains that have the word loan in it. Now, once we find something that looks good, maybe builder finance loans, we could go into our GoDaddy tool right like this. And we could put that domain in here and see what they estimate that it's worth and if it's available. Some of these will be taken already, but most of them are still available. Now, according to this tool, we could see that GoDaddy says it's worth $1,000. Will I be able to sell this for a thousand bucks? Probably not, maybe, but I could definitely get more than eight bucks, I think. Again, results not typical, implied or guaranteed. So, builder finance loans, it's small, it's got three keywords, they're good keywords, and you could see that comparable domains sold in around that range, which is pretty cool. So we could go through and we could weed out stuff like loans, carloanguys.com, and on and on we go. You can also do things in high value markets like credit and find easy credit applications, EE credit report, and some of these are just complete junk, findcreditcardsfast.com. That's kind of cool. It's a little long, but it's okay. And again, you're just going to do these by eye, figure out what looks good, use your tool, see exactly what's going on, and bada bing, bada bang, you can get these domains. And again, using your trigger words, you will always be able to find something good. Or let's say you're in the hosting market. You can type in hosting and you could see all the different stuff about hosting. Now watch out because sometimes people get like all the domains that are very, very similar which means they're just kind of buying them up, which probably means they're not worth much. But we can go through and do stuff like gateway hosting services. That could be good. Pretty cool, right? Now, let's go into strategy number two. In method number two, we're going to do the same thing, find good names, but then we're going to add another layer where we check for backlinks on Google and other search engines. And then, of course, we buy the domains that look good and resell them. Now, a little bonus tip that you can do also is you can actually go into Google and search for the domain and see if anything comes up. So we're going to go google.com. We're going to put the domain in like this and we're going to see, okay, yes, there are some things that have actually checked this out, which means it's got a little bit of backlinks, which is pretty cool. So I would say that based on this, based on the fact that there's some backlinks, yeah, this is probably worth something. It's probably a decent domain. Very cool, right? And you could do this with all of them manually, but again, it's going to take you a while if you don't know what you're looking for, which is why you want to isolate it based on niche, based on what you're after. For example, just yesterday, I found cbaffiliateformula.com, which I thought was pretty cool. It's related to ClickBank. It's got the word affiliate in it. And I actually found out that this was an old product that had affiliates on ClickBank. So I could buy this domain, point it at my stuff, and instantly get some of that traffic and use it to build up for whatever these people are searching for, which is pretty cool. There's lots of reviews on it and everything, which means this domain is pretty valuable to me, and I could probably sell it for a good amount too, even though it says it's only worth 185 bucks. But still, turning eight bucks into 185 is not that bad. Well, honestly, it's actually pretty good. So we can keep going here and type in stuff like affiliate and find different stuff like home of the affiliates, mojoaffiliate.com. That's actually kind of cool. I might get that one. Let's see, Mojo Affiliate. It's got a good value. We got Mojo Affiliate here. It's got some stuff in Google, which is okay, Mojo Affiliates. So yeah, I, I would think like based on this, we could probably sell it to these guys who have the Mojo Affiliate stuff which is pretty cool. So we could go through and make this work in a pretty cool way. And I definitely think this domain is worth eight bucks. We can continue on and see like my business wealthy affiliate, online business affiliates.com, Rose City Affiliate, Wealthy Affiliate Mentor, and on and on we go. And you could do this with literally any keyword that's out there that leads to a market that makes money where people are buying domain names. 
It's very simple. You just go and you eye them and you kind of gauge what you think the domain is worth based on what shows up in Google, based on what the GoDaddy tool says, and based on the idea of the domain, like Wealth Laboratory. That's kind of cool, right? Wealth Hustlers. There's some pretty good stuff here that we can use. And I would imagine, again, results not typical, implied, or guaranteed, I would imagine these are probably worth more than $9, which is what it cost us to get them. Now, method number three, what we're going to do is we're going to use software to make this process a lot easier. There's some free software. There's some paid software. I'm going to have some links at affiliatemarketingdude.com slash domains so you can get kind of the lay of the land and figure out what you want to use. One of the free softwares you can use that has like a free trial, you don't even have to log in or anything, you can use the bulk backlink analysis tool from semrush.com. And semrush is actually a great tool. We'll have a link in that description there where you can get a free trial of that as well. Now, what we can do with semrush is we could actually take a bunch of domains from this list, up to like 200 domains, and we could do a backlink research on up to 200 at a time. So I could put these domains in here like this. You can see I got 203, so we'll do 200. And we could hit compare right like this, and we could see exactly which ones have the most backlinks, which ones are doing good, which ones have the most relevancy, everything like that. And we can go through and we could do like the authority score, and find ones that have the highest authority score and everything like that. Like this one here's got a pretty good authority score and on and on we go. Now, of course, some of these are just gonna be complete junk and useless. So what I would advise doing is find the ones that you actually like, like maybe find all the domains that have the word loan in it, right? And we could see here, there's quite a few domains with loan. Take those domains and put those into the tool. That way you're not, you know, doing all of them because it's gonna take you all day to do all of them. But if I just do loans like this and I put all the loan domains, then I can go through and say, yeah, now I'm gonna get all the domains that have to do with loans and I can sort them by the ones that have popularity in Google. And sometimes it'll surprise you which ones actually have the popularity and which ones don't. Because, you know, sometimes it's like some weird random domain that I wouldn't think would be worth anything, but maybe that'll have a good amount of backlinks and stuff in Google and everything like that. So we could see here, this one for car title loans completely online, I would think that was kind of a junk domain at first glance, but we could actually see, hey, that one's actually doing pretty good. So we could go through and we could see what the value is, see if it's available, and bada bing, bada bang, there we go. Right now, it does look like this one's taken. I think it might be one I bought. I don't remember. I bought way too many yesterday when preparing for this video, uh, but we could see that that actually does have links in it which is pretty cool. And then once you figure out the links, you could actually go through and figure out what links are showing up. So for example, the domain I bought yesterday for the CB affiliate formula, right, like this, uh, you could see that this one actually did have backlinks and stuff, which is pretty cool. And then all I need to do is look at where the backlinks are pointing. And we could see some are to CB affiliate formula, members area slash home, CB formula, uh, affiliate, all kinds of stuff. And then when I go to build out this site, I just want to make sure that I have pages on all the pages that have backlinks, and those should get picked up pretty quickly. And we can even see that some affiliates are still driving traffic to it, uh, which is pretty cool, right? There's some affiliates that are driving traffic. There's some different links everything, which is pretty cool. So obviously to me, this domain can be worth a lot of money. I could build it out and then later sell it if I want to, or just keep it and keep making money with it, which is pretty cool. You can also use tools like alexa.com to find out if the site actually has traffic on it. Now, most of these probably won't have much traffic, but again, you know, you could weed them out by backlinks because obviously the backlinks are what's probably gonna get them traffic and you could figure out exactly what's going on. And then of course, in some of these domains, we can go to our Ahrefs keyword tool, go to Site Explorer, and put the domain in here to see if it actually ranks for some keywords. Now, because these are expired, a lot of these are not gonna have rankings for keywords, but some of them might. So like this one here has seven 
organic keywords, big truck title loans, semi truck title loans. So this might be traffic that I could actually go for. And all I would have to do again is build out this site because it's already picked up. Just make a page about big rig title loans and bada bing, bada bang. I could start getting traffic pretty much like overnight. And then of course, if you want to see what used to be on the website before it went into expired status, you can go over to Wayback Machine, which is at archive.org. We could type in the domain and we could see what it used to look like back in the day. And I know that this one was on huge domains for a while for sale. So we'd have to go back a couple of years to see what was actually on there. But it was actually a site about how to make money with ClickBank, which is pretty cool. It's got backlinks. It's got all the stuff. It's definitely worth more than eight bucks to me and probably to other people as well, which is pretty cool. And then, of course, we just find the ones that look good and buy them. Now, there's some paid softwares you can use as well, like Spamzilla, which we're going to be doing a little review on my website. So over at affiliatemarketingdude.com slash domains, we'll have my review there. I just got this today, so I don't know how good it is, but it looks pretty promising so far. Uh, we can actually go through and find the domains. They have domain authority. They have where they're for sale at. So it doesn't just have the ones that are expired, but it also has ones that are like expiring or ones that are available on like an auction site. And it'll tell you here which ones are available and which ones aren't. Now we can also go here to expires and we can go to available just to find the ones that are available. And hopefully it'll load here for us. Come on now. Let's see if it wants to load. We could go and do the ones that are available like this. And then of course we could see the backlinks. We could see exactly what's going on and we can weed through these and find the ones that are available and just start buying these right away for the eight bucks, which is pretty cool. Now, what I like about this is it gives you a filter. So in the big list that I had before, it was just.com. Um, which I'd have to do another report for .NET and another for .org. But here we can actually filter it and say, hey, I only want the .com domains or the .orgs or the .net. And then we can go through and apply this filter. And it's pretty cool. You could go through and do traffic and stuff like that as well. And when you apply the filter, we could actually go in and say, okay, these are available. Um, you know, which ones have the good backlinks? What's going on? And again, this is going to be just the .com domains. And I think we can actually go through and search as well. Like if I wanted to do mortgage or something like that, uh, we could see here, like whatever this mortgage one is, uh, it is available and it's one that has some links and stuff like that. So it looks pretty good. Mortgage consultant uh, makes it a little bit easier to go through and figure out what's going on, like mortgage loan advocate. Uh, that one's available, uh, which looks pretty cool. And then of course we could go to our GoDaddy figure out what it's worth, do our little research on it, and there we go, right? So a lot of these look really good and you can use them and you just have to be smart about it because obviously if you go buying a bunch of domains, they're probably not gonna sell. You have to do the work and the research and everything like that. Now, when you go to sell these domains, there are several places you can do this. You could sell them on Flippa, you could sell them on GoDaddy Auctions, which is actually pretty cool. On GoDaddy Auctions here like this, we can see uh, the domain for sale. We can see the estimated value, what the bid is. And you can actually go to the GoDaddy Auctions and figure out what is selling, right? So we could do like recently sold. We could see what is uh, selling for a lot of money, like online shop design. He wants four grand for that. And we can actually see what's going on and what people are willing to pay for this stuff, which will give us an idea of what is good to buy and what's not good to buy. This is also a great place you can go and buy domains as well. Obviously, be sensible about it. I don't want to buy this one for 10 grand if I don't think it's worth 10 grand. So we got to go through and we got to use our noggin. We got to understand exactly what people want. We got to do our backlink stuff. We got to check them up, uh, see what's out there and look at what is really working so that we know what we can sell or what we can use. So you got Flippa, you got uh, GoDaddy Auctions. Um, there's other sites, tons of other sites. Just look up domain auction sites. You can sell them on eBay. Uh, you could sell them all kinds of places and actually turn these around for a profit. And the cool thing is, is like if I buy a hundred domains, that's going to cost me 900 bucks. All I need to do is sell one for 900 bucks, which if you do the research, I think obviously results not implied or guaranteed or typical. 
I think you'll be able to do that out of a list of a thousand or a hundred domains. Um, there's got to be one that's good if you're doing your homework. And then basically all the other domains are free. So whatever you sell those for is like gravy on the potatoes or whatever it is, right? So it's very simple, very easy. Now, I know this is kind of a complicated process, which is why I put together a full resource report over at affiliatemarketingdude.com slash domains. Again, I'll have that link in the description. That page will have all the links of everything we talked about. And also, one of the things that I'm starting in my blog profit network coaching club, which is over at blogprofitnetwork.com. This week, yes, uh, the Tuesday coming up, I think it's Tuesday the 27th. Yes, Tuesday the 27th at 3 p.m. Eastern time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have a special training in the Blog Profit Network. We're going to have all kinds of domains and stuff like that. But on this training, I'm actually going to ask everyone to show up logged into their domain accounts because I'm going to go find domains that I think will be profitable and you guys could buy them right there live on the training, which is pretty cool, right? So I think that'll be kind of fun. Uh, it'll give you a taste of what the Blog Profit Network's about. It's basically my course that's going to teach you everything about making money online. You get access to the Tuesday calls, including the domain call we're going to have and all kinds of good stuff. So hop over to affiliatemarketingdude.com slash domains, get your free resources and tools, sign up for the Blog Profit Network call and I look forward to seeing you on Tuesday. Be ready to buy the domains because it will be first come, first serve. I'm just going to go through the list and show you what I think is valuable. You can buy them if you want. Other people can buy them if they want. And it'll be like a fun little hangout for us money makers. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe, click the bell, and check out my next video. More about domains.